yeah, this is a lot. Um, I'm sick of all of y'all. And yeah, my parents should have stopped after me, me and my older brother. Afraid, emotions getting in your way. Afraid. Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tasha. This is my lifestyle channel. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the red button below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my content moving forward. Today, I'll be doing a Q&A slash get to know me tag since I actually never did one when I first started my channel. It's a long time coming, honestly. Nevertheless, it's time to uh, get all up in my business. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a glass of wine, cozy up on your couch, and let's get right into this video. A couple of weeks ago, I asked on my Instagram story for my followers, friends, family, etc., to ask me some questions for this video, and I got some pretty good questions. Um, for those of you watching this who subscribe to my channel, who follow me on Instagram, and still didn't answer my poll, I see you. I see you. You see me looking down, it's because my questions are on my laptop here, and I'm just following along there. Where were you born? So I was born in Miami, Florida. Not a lot of people know that, but I was born in Miami. I'm not from Miami, but I was born there. Where am I from? That's question number two. Um, I'm from Kissimmee, Florida. For those of you who are not from Florida or Central Florida specifically, I just say I'm from Orlando to, to really explain it because a lot of people don't know where Kissimmee is. How many siblings do you have? I have five siblings. I am the second of six kids. My parents were very busy. What did you study in school? So I went to the University of Florida um, where I got my bachelor's in public health and a minor in health disparities. I originally went to UF because I wanted to become a dentist and UF had a really great dental program. That was my mindset, that was my, my thinking when I applied and honestly it was the only school I applied to coming out of high school. Um, and when I told my friends that or other people, they're like, what the heck? I was just like so like focused on UF. Like there was no possibility in my mind that I wasn't gonna get in, strangely enough. But I applied to the University of Miami too. Never planned on going there. What's your horoscope? So I'm a Capricorn. We start the year off and we started off strong, okay? What's your favorite color? Okay, so when it comes to favorite colors, it really just depends on what we're talking about. So my favorite color in jewelry is gold. I don't own very much silver accessories like at all. For clothes, I would say black. I own a lot of black clothing um, just because it's super simple, easy to like dress up, dress down. Um, but overall, in general, I guess you could say my favorite color is purple um, just because I like that color. But there's not much of it in my apartment. There's not much of it in my wardrobe. So you would really have to know me to know that it's my favorite color and white. Yeah. Are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship. We've been together going on five years now. And if you are a OG subscriber, then you would have seen him in a few of my YouTube videos, like most recently our trip to Mexico. We in Cancun with it. How many kids do you want? Um, honestly, my max is three. That's the absolute max. Um, you know, God has his own plan, of course, um, and I trust in that, but for me in my house, for me in my womb, my uterus, um, yeah, three is the cap. Do you have any tattoos? So clearly I didn't prep these questions prior um, because I'm about to count my tattoos now. Um, yes, I have tattoos, I have, one, two. I have six tattoos. Six tattoos. My most recent two are this one here. It's an outline of the country of Haiti because I'm Haitian. And underneath it, it says espoir, which means hope, um, which is really fitting with everything going on. On the back of my elbow is the Sankofa bird. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Um, and then here, is Isaiah 61.3, it says beauty for ashes. And on this shoulder, um, I have a tattoo that says lights will guide you home. Um, and it's in memory of my older brother. And yeah, I have a tulip on my side. And this is my very first tattoo, which I got in Gainesville, Florida with one of my bestest friends. And it says faith. 
yeah, this was the this is the one that started it all. How many piercings do you have? Let's count them together. So I have my nose piercing, which is the most recent, even though I got this like two years ago. I have these three up here on my cartilage. So that's four. And then I have two on each of my ears. So that's eight. So I have eight piercings total. Um, honestly, if I were to say which one hurt the most, I'm gonna go with my nose. What made you start YouTube? Um, I started my channel because I just wanted a, another creative outlet. Um, I've always loved just like scrolling through YouTube, watching different content creators. Um, there's some people that I've been following since I was in like middle school and they're still creating content. So it's been pretty dope just to watch them grow and develop. Um, and as a young adult, I wanted to kind of have like a gallery of like memories that I can look back, look back on. So yeah, that was like my main reason for starting YouTube. I'm really glad I did because I actually really enjoy the process. What's something most people don't know about? So, huh. Okay. So <laughs> in high school, I had to do court mandated community service. So what had happened was um, I let one of my siblings who did not have a license at the time, no learner's permit whatsoever, um, drive my car and we were driving in a, a, a neighborhood, it was an ungated community and they hit a tree. Long story short, they hit a tree. Of course I was at fault because I was the one with the license, it was my car. Um, so I had to go to court for it. You know my siblings and would like to guess which one of the Raymonds this was. Yeah, go ahead and drop that in the comment box below. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, you can guess, but yeah. Favorite places to shop. Um, so I love thrifting. Um, I enjoy that a lot. Um, but outside of thrifting, I think some of my favorite stores, which I guess it's kind of problematic. No, it is problematic. Um, I really enjoy shopping on Shein because they got the deals. Um, they actually have some like nice quality stuff. Um, and then for like my basics and like basic items or pieces, I love H&M. Like I honestly don't shop that much for myself. So yeah, that's all I got. What are you allergic to? Strangely enough, I'm allergic to sunscreen and I only know this because I tried it a couple tried it out a couple times when I was younger, when I went to Wet n Wild, when I went to the beach, and both times I broke out in like hives all over my body wherever it was placed. Um, and so that was <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. So I haven't really tried anything else since. Um, there's some products that I've used before that have like SPF in it, but I haven't had a reaction. So I'm still trying to figure out what exactly it is in sunscreen that like my body reacts to. So I'm still on the hunt. I'm gonna try some natural based ones. If you have any recommendations, drop them below. Um, but yeah, I'm allergic to sunscreen. I don't think there's, as of now, there's no food items that I'm allergic to. Describe your aesthetic. Mm. Honestly, I don't really have an aesthetic, I think. Um, I like to be comfortable, I like to be cute. So I guess you could say my aesthetic is comfy, cute. Um, I really just wear whatever I feel like wearing in the moment. Um, some pieces of mine are super dressy, some are very like casual. Um, I'm not very much of like a streetwear person. I'm not a huge sneaker head. I don't really wear caps. You know, puffs don't really fit in caps. Um, so I guess, I guess my aesthetic is pretty simple. Did you play sports in high school? I played volleyball and softball. Volleyball being my all-time favorite sport. Um, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy playing it. Um, it's just really fun, a great way to stay active. And something else I did in high school, which is sports related, I was a student athletic trainer. So I taped up athletes. I did um, pa um, patients like rehab and stuff like that, which I really enjoyed. How long have you been natural? So I've been natural since my freshman year of undergrad. So it's been about six years. But going natural was a complete accident. Like it wasn't intentional per se. Um, so when I was back home, I had a stylist that I'd go to to get my hair relaxed and like straightened and stuff like that. I would put so much time in between like my next visit and um, on my last visit, I broke a comb and they let me know that like, 
you can't wait that long in between your relaxer. So I transitioned, um, but I never did a big chop. So after that last perm, I never went back pretty much. Um, and I just let the, the perm like grow out of my hair. What keeps you motivated? I think it's a pretty good question. So I'm a believer, so I believe in Jesus Christ. Um, and honestly, I feel like that's what keeps me motivated because God gave me a purpose. Like there is a reason to my existence. Um, and so, you know, every day I try my best to like get closer to living in the fullness of my purpose. Goals for this year? Well, the year's almost up. Um, and thankfully I have reached some of the goals that I have set for myself. One of the goals that I have is to read 12 books. Um, I'm an avid reader. I've always loved to read. Um, I've read four so far. I was slacking because I got caught all caught up in like the self-development, you know, rich dad, poor dad, et cetera, et cetera. And those books are boring. Like they're important. self -develop Don't get me wrong. Self-development is important. But I feel like as young adults, as adults, like we forget that it's okay to have fun and it's okay to read fiction. And one of my favorite favorite series um, that I read growing up was the Maximum Ride series um, and I actually gifted it to my friend Trisha for her birthday and just a whole lot of foolishness here in Atlanta. Long story short, someone stole the package so I replaced it, Amazon replaced it, but then they returned it once they saw it was books. I was like, wow, crazy. Um, but we had two so I got the extra set so I'm reading those again another goal of mine was to have a brand partnership and I might have secured one um, so if it's a done deal y'all here will hear more about it if it's not then you know it is what it is what did you want to do when you were younger honestly I had no idea what I wanted to be what I wanted to do you know as a kid you just like pick up whatever you're like I want to be an astronaut or I want to be a superhero um, I remember for a minute I wanted to be a chef and I told my mom that and she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, you can't make money being a chef. Like, you can do that as like a hobby, but like as a career, a job. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. And that was just a phase, that was a fad. Um, I also thought about becoming a surgeon. Um, and like I said in an early response, like going from high school into college, I wanted to become a dentist. As y'all well know by now, I am not a dentist, nowhere close. Do you like your actual job, feel the choice, and have you ever considered switching? I like my actual job. I don't love my actual job right now. I am a resource coordinator. Um, this is my field of choice. I like my field of choice. I actually love it. I love public health um, because once I transitioned out of the mindset that I no longer wanted to be a dentist, um, I really just pulled some of what I really was looking for in dentistry and I found that in public health. I have considered switching though um, and it's not a huge major shift because it's still within the same like realm of things. Um, I have considered going back to school to um, become a nurse. Um, I have considered become a fl becoming a flight attendant because I just feel like that would just be so lit. Um, and honestly, if I could like redo things over, I think rather than going straight into my graduate program right after um, finishing my bachelor's, I probably would have become a flight attendant, to be honest, like taken like a gap year or two and then hopped right back into school. But I made that decision knowing like in my head, in my heart, that like if I stopped, I wasn't gonna go back. So I just wanted to, <laughs> wanted to get it all done. Right now, it's just all about finding a position within my field that I actually love. What scares you? Ooh, a lot of things scare me, but if I were to just summarize it, honestly, the world scares me. Like the state that our world in scares me. The fact that like nothing is certain, um, the fact that the things that our parents like upheld, like pensions and social security are about to be irrelevant. Um, so that scares me, like the future scares me. My biggest inspiration are my parents and there's so many reasons, so many things I could say to support why that is. But at the end of the day, they made me who I am. I am resilient because of them. I have a strong work ethic because of them. Like growing up, that's what I saw. That's what they portrayed. And although growing up, we didn't always have 
all of the fancy or newer material things like we had what really mattered i had their love i had their support and honestly just seeing them navigate loss navigate through tragedies navigate through society as immigrants and as an adult reflecting on all of that it's it's inspiring like what they have been able to accomplish for themselves for our family it's a truly a beautiful thing and so they'll forever be my biggest inspiration where do you see yourself in five years i see myself further in my career further in the field of public health doing something that i love um god willing i see myself married I see myself happy those were all the questions that I got. I hope y'all learned a little bit more about me, my channel, etc. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button below. And I will see y'all in future videos.